Okay, hello. So we've just covered the concept of a mole, and now we're going to look at some ways of um, calculating with moles. So um, molar mass is a short way of saying the mass of one mole of a substance. So when you see the word molar mass, so molar mass, mass of one mole, um, we can use this to work out how many moles of a substance we have when we're given a random sample. So if I'm given 30 grams of something and I know what it is, I can use that information to work out how many moles of that thing I have. So determining the molar mass of a single element is really simple. It's right there on the periodic table. Molar mass is equal to the atomic mass. So the bigger number in your element tile is your atomic mass and also your molar mass. So what this tells us is that the molar mass for fluorine, for example, is 18.9984 grams per mole. So that tells us that one mole or 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of fluorine would weigh 18.9984 grams. Conversely, if I was given a sample of fluorine that weighed exactly 18.9984 grams, I would know that I am holding one mole of fluorine. Um, chemists are really lazy, and grams per mole is too many words, so instead we shorten that unit to g slash mol, or g space mol to the power of negative one. Either is fine, but just be consistent. I prefer g slash mol because it's quicker to write. And the unit for moles is just mol or mole, because we're really lazy and we've even bothered to cut off two letters. So instead of writing moles, you write mole. So that's like a unit, like a gram or a centimeter, grams per mole and mole. So give this a go, grab out your periodic table. Um, I'm gonna pause, or you pause the video and then come back and I will really quickly go through the answers before we move on. So three, two, one, pause. Sick, okay. So answers. So to find one mole of the following elements, you would look on your periodic table, so carbon's atomic mass and molar mass is 12 grams, silver's molar mass is 108 grams, hydrogen would weigh 1 gram, and a mole of xenon would weigh 131 grams. So remember, each one of those samples contains exactly the same number of atoms, but because their masses are different, they weigh different amounts. For your challenges, how much would two moles of potassium weigh? So we know that one mole of potassium weighs 39.1 grams. So if we have two moles, it would be twice that heavy. Um, 0.5 moles of lithium. So we know one mole weighs 6.9 grams. So therefore half that much would weigh half that much. So 3.45 grams. And then finally, how many moles of nitrogen would I have if I had a sample that weighed 32 grams? So I know my mass and I know my molar mass. I know that one mole would weigh 14. So if I divide my mass by my molar mass, I can work out my number of moles. So 32 divided by 14 gives me three mole. And note the use of the units there. That's an important skill to practice.